Elizabeth Allen is our head of Asia Fixed Income based in Hong Kong. Elizabeth, at the mid-year point now, can you give us an update on Asia fixed income markets and where the best opportunities are as we look ahead to the second half and into 2025? Sure, sure, of course. So if you remember, we, we have been constructive on Asian credit since the beginning of the year. So far, we have seen Asian high yield as a key outperformer in both the local and global fixed income context. You can see there the year-to-date return is about 8%. The investment thesis there continues to hold. Macro conditions continue to be stable, inflation under control, and corporate fundamentals are strong. A key change to highlight, which is positive, is the latest policy stance in China. We think that the recent property measures, as well as the government lending programs, are going to put a floor to private sector bond prices. So while it takes time for policy transmission to come to fruition, and we're not saying it's a U-shaped, V-shaped rebound. The downside risk here is certainly managed so, to a certain extent. So such a normalization, we think, makes Asian credit a good carry play, as well as there will be mild spread tightening opportunity. And I'd also like to mention India fixed income. Um, it's a strong structural story. Um, index inclusion is going to happen. S&P recently changed its credit rating outlook to positive. So it will remain an excellent diversification and carry play for global investors. Elizabeth, that's great. Thanks a lot for your views. Investing always has risk. Fund investing has earn and pay. Before buying, read the disclosure.